everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I want to show you how to make this beautiful card today. It features the Hello Harvest bundle. It was actually a swap card I made a while back, and um, I just love it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. We're going to watercolor that pumpkin. So that means we're going to stamp it in Versamark. And we have two options for watercoloring. You can use watercolor paper or you can use uh, shimmer white which is what I'm gonna use today. And we're gonna emboss it in gold embossing powder. All right, so stamp it, and then we're gonna, let's take this, our embossing tray. I've got my gold powder and a little, little Tupperware kind of thing. And I forgot to use my embossing buddy, so let's see. All right, well, it did pretty good. That embossing buddy is so good. It will keep your powder from sticking where you don't want it to stick. All right, so take your heat tool and it's gonna take about 10 or 15 seconds to warm up to hit the right temperature. And once it does, you'll see your embossing powder turn gold and shiny. You wanna kind of move your, your gun around so that you don't um, scorch your, your paper. Uh, because that can happen and I hold it pretty close but I don't leave it in one spot too long so make sure you get all the, the lines and if you turn your your paper you'll see the light reflecting or re reflecting making the, the embossing powder shiny and that way you can tell did I get it all I think I did all right we're gonna use Cajun Craze, my favorite full stamping up color. I am squeezing the pad to get some ink there on the inside. And we're gonna use a water painter. And I'm just gonna drop a little bit of water in there to make it not so concentrated. And then I'm just gonna go through here. The uh, embossed lines really keep the paint from running out, so it's really kind of a fun way to do watercolor. All right, go around. And add that color, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of dark. I want it really dark here on the bottom. So I'm just gonna kind of take some, some dark, some more concentrated and just kind of drop it there on the bottom. Let's turn it and see how it looks. A gold pumpkin is just beautiful this time of year. Make sure we get all the little white spaces. All right, now I'm just gonna soak that up like that, close it up, and we're gonna use soft suede for the stem. So squeeze your ink pad. And before you do that, you do have to run your, you wanna get as much of that color out of there. Um, soft suede is a dark color, so I'm not too worried about it, but if you, were, if you were switching to something like yellow or purple or green, you definitely need to get all of that out of there. Okay, now clean out your brush, run it so that it gets nice and clean. Soak up any of water that's left. Close that up. I'm also gonna stamp a couple of other things. We're gonna stamp that leaf in Mossy Meadow. Right there on the same piece. And then we'll also stamp our sentiment. And I didn't leave enough room on my piece, so I'll just grab another piece. And we'll stamp this in Memento Black. Right there. The shimmer white is kind of somewhere in between basic white and very vanilla. It's definitely not white, but it's not as creamy, you know, off-white as vanilla is. But when I use it, I try to use it for all the stamping that I'm doing so that everything is relatively the same color. All right, we're gonna use our dies. Now your paper is a little bit warped because of the water. And if you're having trouble keeping your die on, you can take post-it tape and set it like that. That way you know it's gonna stay in place. 
And then we've got the banner die. Get it perfectly set. And then our leaf. And we'll set that down like that. And we've got all of our pieces. Whoops. <laughs> there went a die behind the table. I gotta remember to get that when we're done. Keeping it real around here, folks. All right, let's put our card together. I'm using um, the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper, which when I first saw it reminded me of a chalkboard, like um, images drawn on a chalkboard. So I'm gonna stick with that black um, theme here, and I've got a black card base. All right, I've got a piece of mossy meadow here. I'm gonna put on the left side of the card base. And then I've got a piece of the DSP. The measurements for this are over on my blog. If you click the link here on YouTube, I've got a free PDF for you. Um, and it's got everything that you need to make this project as well as several others um, with the Rustic Harvest um, suite of products. All right, now just a strip of Mossy Meadow. Just kind of anchor everything down. Mine is obviously too long, so let's grab our scissors, our paper snips. Snip, snip, like that. Now I have cut out a basic black label. This is actually from the Scary Silhouette dies. It's a Halloween set, but this is a perfect um, label. I love it, so I've been using it quite a bit. We'll put our pumpkin on with some dimensionals. Okay, we'll take our leaf and also with a dimensional. And we'll slide that down behind there, kind of, let's see, like that. I'm gonna lift that up a little bit and slide that down a little bit more like that. Okay, and then we've got our banner. which we'll put more dimensionals on <laughs> all those little papers. Put that right across there. And then we've got linen thread. I'm gonna just tie a small bow because I don't want it to cover up our pumpkin too much. So I'm gonna keep it kind of small like that. And do I have glue dots? Yes, I do. Let's see, right here. And I've got my take your pick tool right here to get that off and put that right there. All right, back over here, a few more dimensionals. Well, goodness, they have a mind of their own today, don't they? All right, let's put that right there. Now I've got some fun little embellishments. These are our brushed metallic. Um, adhesive back dots. And I think I'll add a couple of copper colored dots right there. Your putty end of your take your pick tool is great for getting those off. Now this is a, a black card base, so we don't wanna leave the inside black because then you have to have a white pen <laughs> to write. And uh, sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but I don't always have a white pen laying around. So I think I'll just put a couple of leaves in here like this. And we will adhere this on the inside. And then we're done. Now this card, the sentiment says, wishing you the loveliest day. I think this would make a great birthday card for this time of year. It's fall themed. Um, it could also be, I mean, really anything. A thank you card, it could go you know, all over the place with that sentiment. So I hope you'll make this card and let me know if you have questions. It's a fun one. Um, and this time of year, I love pumpkins. So I love to use them as much as I can. All right, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, check out the PDF and let me know if you have questions. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.